Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for War Number 10 of Season 51. Today we have an important matchup against Salty. SSX trying to stay on the podium until the end of the season and Salty a very talented group of players over there so we got our work cut out for us. Deathless King Groot, America Chavez, and Beta Ray Bill rounding out the team today. A full squad of 7 star rank 3 champions. Let's jump right in. Starting off today on path number three in section one, we have a Hulkbuster here on node three, and we're going to be using Deathless King Groot here. Now, we could use Beta Ray Bill here, but he doesn't have the power burn immunity. He doesn't have the special lock immunity, but he does have the ability to pulverize those armor ups. But Deathless King Groot, the safer option here because he's power burn immune, and he'll likely heal up any of the shock damage at the end. So we started off with an advanced power boost, and you saw I just parried and led with the special one. That allowed us to get up clarity immediately, and now we don't have to worry about it until the rest of the fight here. So we're going to build up to over two bars of power. We have those ignition buffs from that initial special one, and you're going to see even with only two Furies here, the SP2 does a ton of damage uh, because we get double damage, remember, against tech hero champs, which Hulkbuster is tagged as. And then from here, we're just going to be building back up uh, we are building up a bunch of passive theories. There's eight right there, and we're not even going to get to the next special two uh, because he is already close to dead. So bait out this special one, and one more full combo does it. Full yellow bar finish. That's the way we like to see it when the king comes to war. All right, next up we have an Eye Doom on node 12. Very similar fight to the previous one. Make a tiny mistake at the start here by leading with a light attack, which triggers the special lock. Not a huge deal. We can just wait it out and then sidestep into the special one to build up our clarity. Now, remember that Eye Doom's armor up only functions if he's not suffering from an armor break debuff. So, because our armor breaks are permanent, he can now no longer trigger his armor up the rest of the fight, and we've essentially turned off every threatening part of this fight, which is really nice. And all we do have to worry about from here on is just properly dexing his specials. He is going to trigger the special lock at the end when he gets the regen, but that's, you know, the fight is pretty much over at that point. Now right there you see me do a second special one, and uh, if I had to do this fight again I wouldn't do that. In, in a war like this, fight time is very important. Salty is a very fast alliance, and I think kind of mid-fight I was thinking, you know, I Doom is incinerate immune, it's probably not going to be worth it to use the special two, but I think in hindsight we still would have gotten the red burst damage, it still would have done double damage because he's a tech hero, and saving a few seconds I think would be important to remember. For next time but either way a yellow bar finish and that's definitely what you want to see all right up in section two we are on path eight we have an omega sentinel here on node 26 popular placement and the one thing you have to remember about this fight is that omega sentinel's kit states that when she would auto block an attack she applies the incinerate so even with clarity up within a, a champion who is not incinerate immune like deathless king groot you do have to take care to alternate your attacks in order to prevent her from getting those armor ups because if she gets enough to trigger the auto block uh it, it's going to also trigger that overwhelming odds node and the incinerate that she places on you is going to really hurt so you can see me here i'm taking care again to do like parry light medium light medium I'm using the special ones to remove any of the armor ups that she's triggering herself because remember, it's not just when I use the same attack in, twice in a row, it's also when she does. So uh, once you remove the threat of her armors, uh, you know she really doesn't become that much of a problem because her base health is not that high. She depends on those armors a lot for her survivability. And uh, there we go. Really quick and easy fight. Almost a yellow bar finish. All right, up on node 35, surprise, surprise, it is yet another gore on Rich Get Richer that we will be taking with America Chavez. I am so tired of talking about this fight, so I'll try to give you the TLDR version here. You want to keep up as many stacks of the negative zone as possible to order to stop and eventually reverse the power gain that he's getting from Rich Get Richer. I take a few too many blocked hits there, and I've got some debuffs on myself. That's fine, it'll cost me a potion, but ultimately not a big deal. And then you just want to use the special two after one hit from your heavy. If you're lucky, you'll get a couple crits, and it'll be over in one special two. In this particular matchup, it required a second one. Either way, no big deal. Alright, on mini boss island number two, we have a guardian here, a rank three SIG 200 guardian on node 41 so important things to remember here we will be able to pulverize his armor of course which is what he depends on for a lot of his abilities and you'll actually see that come into play here 
uh, when we start to do our normal bill rotation. I'm going to be trying my best to bait out only special ones in this fight. If you trigger a special two from Guardian and you are at six or more of the bubble shield charges, uh, he will go unblockable in the middle of the special two uh, and you will take some damage there. Now that being said, I did switch my stat focus on Bill to energy resist and he's shock immune so a lot of Guardian's threat here is really removed. It's going to be very difficult for him to kill Bill huh, on this node. All right, so we've got the root on. He's got below bar power, so we're going to try and back up here. Start charging our heavy. Get those intensified buffs. And then uh, the root triggers, but it's fine. We use the special two to break out. And now from here, we're looking to get right back up to our special one and uh, try and end those shocks. Now, what you're going to see happen, however, is that his armor up ends up coming back in the middle of my special one. And what that does is it triggers Guardian's insane level of energy resistance. So right here, we fire off the special one, but he has the armor up, and you can see he mitigated most of that energy burst. It was only like 47k other than, you know, it normally would have been like a kill here. Now we did refresh the shocks, which is great. So we do have plenty of time here to full combo, go back into the striker, full combo once again to shorten the shocks, and then go into the special one a second time. The armor up is gone. We get a nice big burst there of 114k, and the fight is over. Really, really fun fight there. All right, last fight of the war for me is an Adam Warlock on node 46. I took this fight earlier in the season. I want to say it was like war five, maybe. Made some mistakes in that fight. I think I threw a special two into his pod, which then like lengthened the fight by another 30 or 45 seconds after that. So kind of switched up my strategy just a little bit. And what I got was a much, much cleaner version of this fight. And I'm actually very proud about how this fight turned out. So my strategy is I'm not really going to worry about getting all three dimensions up. I think I was too concerned with that in, in the first one. Instead, I'm going to focus on only doing full heavies to keep negative zones up and just keep a total lockdown on his power again. I really don't want him to get and use that special two a single time in this fight. And then whenever we naturally get to the special two, we can do a Utopian Parallel and uh, get some extra burst damage from that. So the only danger here really is that if he doesn't want to throw his special one right away, the negative zone could drain his power below a threshold. Uh, but other, it, it, as long as he's using his specials, we're not going to be triggering his unblockable and the fight is very safe. So we are going to trigger one more special two, which is going to take him below the pod threshold. Going to wait out this pod here and uh, bait out one more special one from him. Just kidding. His buffs ended. We've got our special two and finished the fight at close to full health. Really, really happy with that fight. Unfortunately, we did not go on to win this one. We were actually tied on deaths, but like I think I said at the start of the video, Salty is a very fast war alliance. And uh, so we ended up losing on the tiebreaker. But big shout out to them, especially my guy, MCOC Encyclopedia, who's over in Salty. Six kills for me, zero deaths, and our record falls to seven and three on the season. I think I talked in the last video uh, that seven wins is enough to lock up a Masters finish. Uh, I think we need one more win to lock up a top ten finish. So we'll be looking to get that in our final two wars. Uh, if we can get both wins and finish 9-3, and three, I'm not really sure what the math works out to, if we still have a shot at podium um, or, or not. But uh, like, I, like I think I've said before, SSX doesn't push for podium, we push for top 10. So one more win, and we will have met our goal for the season. Either way, we'll see what happens. Folks, if you enjoyed this, please remember to hit that like button. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. <music>